Yes Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana yes. Yesterday William Ruto met Kenya Kwanza elected leaders at State House Nairobi in which he implored upon them to pass the finance bill 2023 when it comes before them in parliament. And one of the incentives Ruto gave to the elected leaders is that in the event they pass that bill, every constituency will have 200 houses built as a result of the passage of that bill. Ruto, whose MPs to pass tax bill, bag of goodies for budget vote, President says all constituencies will get 200 affordable homes each if leaders approve taxation plan. So that was the incentive Ruto gave to the elected leaders. And for those who have been keenly following me here, I've always maintained that this government is so much confused, things are falling apart that the center can no longer hold. Every move or any initiative this government starts ends up backfiring very badly. Ruto yesterday exposed that that finance bill, especially on the issue of building houses, is something that will most definitely not work. It has already failed. And the 3% in my honest opinion is not even about building houses. Because civil servants alone in Kenya, by 2020, civil servants alone in Kenya, or those in the public sector, was 0 0.5 million. That was in 2020. How many public servants are in Kenya? The estimated number of, of employees in public administration in Kenya amounts to 0 0.5 million in 2020. So by 2020, those in the public sector alone was 0 0.55 million. Assuming we take only the, those in the public sector, the civil servants, if you construct 200 houses in all the constituencies in Kenya, that one is 200 times 290. If you multiply 200 homes times 290 constituencies, 200 times 290 constituencies, we get 58,000 homes. 58,000 homes. Civil servants alone are about 600,000. That only means that the houses won't be enough. So <clears throat> not everybody will get those houses. But this, car, this tax, everybody is being taxed as long as you are employed. And again, if you look at how many employees are in Kenya, in 2021, around 18.3 million people were employed in Kenya. This was an increase of over 900,000 individuals from the previous year. The employees belonged mostly to the informal sector. Roughly 15.3 million worked in informal conditions, whereas 3.1 million were employed in the formal sector. So you are seeing clearly that the housing scheme will not work. And that is the truth. This is just another conduit of corruption. The 3% tax levy on housing is a perfect conduit 
of corruption. In this video, I want us to dig deep into this story for Kenyans to understand what's happening behind the scenes. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's proceed. Kenya Kwanzaa elected leaders and most of the ones who dumped as the new for Kenya Kwanzaa, they are not serving the interest of the people, but they are serving William Ruto's own interest. And I'm saying that because go across the country, even in areas that elected William Ruto, in the Kalenjin Rift Valley and on the mountain, they are against this 3% housing tax levy. Why is it that the elected leaders cannot listen to what the ground is saying if indeed they are the true representatives of the people? Why can't they listen to the people? Because I'm certain, very sure, that these elected leaders supporting William Ruto, Kenya Kwanzaa, they will pass that bill in parliament. While it's very clear, the people are against the passage of that bill. So these leaders are just in parliament to please Ruto, not the people. That's something coming out very clearly. The way forward now is for Kenyans to reject these leaders. Any Kenya Kwanza leader who will pass that bill in parliament, Kenyans should reject and if possible, recall that kind of a leader because it's clear that's a leader not doing what the people on the ground elected him to do. The, the passage of Finance Bill 2023 will impose more and unnecessary taxes on Kenyans. And that's something that will affect the people directly. The cost of living will skyrocket, rather will go up drastically. I'm very sure very many Kenyans Will be, le be, will be rendered ec economically crippled courtesy to the elected leaders supporting this regime. It's important for Kenyans to wake up. Irrespective of your political party, affiliation or your tribe, Kenyans should reject this current crop of elected leaders supporting this government. And also something coming out very clearly. It's now a fact William Ruto's government does not care about the hustlers. It's a government that only cares about the few rich individuals. And I'm saying that based on how Ruto is running his government. Almost all initiatives William Ruto has introduced in the eight months of his presidency are initiatives augering very negatively on the common man. While the rich are really smiling, we are seeing Ruto creating even extra offices for them to serve in government, for them to earn salaries at the expense of Mamamboga Boda Boda. Kenyan should wake up. William Ruto is not there to help them or to make their livelihoods better. Ruto is there to enrich a few individuals in, in the government. That's exactly what is happening. And William Ruto is very keen on pleasing some few elites. If you look on how William Ruto again runs the government, he seems to be putting more attention even to an extent of even using taxpayers' money in making sure it compromises some key government institutions. He's using taxpayers' money. The people are suffering. 
taxes are being increased on a daily basis. Just look, for example, the registrar of political parties. Already that office has been crippled totally. The, or the registrar of political parties, that office is now an appendage of William Ruto. Ruto directs that office the way he wants. That office is no longer independent. Kenyan should reject all this political conmanship being exhibited by William Samoy Ruto. As I conclude, the mere fact that Ruto intends <laughs> on building 200 homes through the passage of finance bill alone confirms that, that this is already some kind of a, a fake scheme. Even before the passage of that scheme, Ruto had promised to build some houses. Mm. So it appears that this whole scheme has all along been lies. Ruto keeps on contradicting himself, ladies and gentlemen. Let me stop it there for now. In case you want to support our forum, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to channel your support to the number. Those watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.